let's say your your spaceship crash landed on um, on a mysterious planet how how would you work out the gravity of this uh, of this unknown planet um so so how do you do it well easy well what you do you um you, you create yourself a pendulum okay let, let's let's say you you get a string of let's say three meters it, it could be 1.2 it could be 1.5 or whatever okay we we're, we're, we're going to create a pendulum of length three meters and um and what what you do you, you time how long it takes to make one swing like this okay the time it takes to go up here and then back again let's say it takes um seven seconds okay seven seconds uh remember we're, we're always working in meters and seconds not hours or kilometers so so don't create a string of th three kilometers long um so so here let's say t rem remember the magical formula uh, t equals 2 pi root L over G. Uh, write this down somewhere. It's a really good formula. So, so here, right, uh, th th this is our magical formula. Okay. Uh, we don't know how it got there. We, we, we're just going to use it. Okay. So, um, we, we want to work out the gravity. Um, we, we, we want to work out G of this planet. So G is here. Okay. We know T. So we can put we can put our uh, remember it takes uh, it takes seven seconds so we can put this into t and we know l l is three so the only thing that we don't know is g so this is how you find out the gra the uh, gravity gravitational uh, pull of this planet so how let, let, let me do it down here so t let, let's put the seven into the t here so this will be seven uh, two pi uh, root um, root L L is three meters okay three here over G so let's let's leave it as G for the time being so um, I, I, I'm, I remember we, we want to get G on its own so you, you can visualize this as as one bubble multiplying this bubble here that's what it means okay um, so now let's um, let's divide both sides by 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 this thing here let's let's kill off this thing so that uh we we want to get g on its own but g is stuck in this bubble so let's let's kill off this bubble first so inside your mind divide both sides by by 2 pi so take the 7 down divide it by 2 pi on this side uh on the right hand side we're, we're going to divide it by 2 pi as well so that would be uh 3 over g uh there okay so um so it would be this now um, now we're going to square both sides. Okay. Um, re remember, if you have a balance here, you uh, blah 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 equals blah 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 over here. Remember, you, you can times both sides equally to both sides. You can divide equally. You can add equally to both sides. You can take away equally to both sides. You you can also uh, square both sides, and you can also take the reciprocal uh, of both sides as well. So so. So here you've got you've got this bubble inside here. Okay, you you want to get that on its own. You've got this square root here. So what you do, you square both sides. So um so let's 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 take the whole thing down. Uh, seven over two here. Remember this this exists in in, in a bubble because because we're we're taking the whole thing down and then we're going to do to square this side and rem and on this side here if we square root if we square a square root. Then what what's left would be that bubble uh, three over g, okay? We, we we did this ages ago. If if you um if you don't understand this step, then you you, you have to scroll back on one of the videos um, before. Okay, now now um let let's square this this thing here. So 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 here what what this means is this seven over two pi uh, brackets. Square. That's what it means, okay? Because the brackets is saying that you've got to work out what's inside the bubble first, and then you can square it. So, so this will become this. Keep an eye on G because that's what we want. That's what we want to get on its own. So let, let let's let's um, evaluate this now. Let's work this out. Uh, find a blank space somewhere. Seven over two pi times seven over two pi. So fraction times fraction. So top times top, 
that would be uh, 49 at the top. Bottom times bottom. Remember, merge the two numbers together first. So 2 times 2. Um, 2 times 2 would be 4. And pi times pi would be pi squared. Okay. Um, again, if you don't understand this, watch uh, watch a video on on Liger. Um, um, when when you when you merge a, a lion and a tiger together, uh, blah 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 blah. Watch if you don't understand this uh, this step, then then I made a video on uh, Liger. Uh, so so watch that. So 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 now we we know that this thing here equals this thing here. Okay. So so now we we can put it into here. So it will be 49 over uh, 4 pi squared, um, uh, and then on this side, nothing. Um, yeah, so so it becomes that. Um, and now um, th there are two ways of doing this. We we can uh, we can take the reciprocal of both sides um, because g is at the bottom, or or we can times. Um, let's let's uh, let, let's take the reciprocal of both sides. Then then you see what I mean. Um, so, so on this side it would be this over forty nine. Um, actually, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna do it the normal way, and then I will show you the reciprocal way after. So now times both sides by g. Um, so hang on. So times both sides by by g. Okay. So um, so take this down over four pi squared times g. Um, uh, on this side, it's going to be three because when you times g, um, the g will go to the top. Uh, so, so th then you will have three g over g, which th the two g's will kill off each other. Okay. So here, it, it gets multiplied to the top, so it becomes this. Um, it, it become forty nine g over four pi squared equals three, and now. Now, um, keep an eye on G. You want to get G on its own. So now, multiply both sides by this bubble. So you will have um, merge the 3 and the 4 together. They're multiplying each other, so it's 12. And then pi squared. This one would be 49G. Now, divide divide both sides by uh, by 49, because at the moment, you've got 49 times G. So divide both sides by 49. So you have G here, and then you have 12 pi squared over 49 so gravity on that mysterious planet is given by this so let's let's work this out calculator um calculator uh so so now let's let's do the the pi squared first hang on uh let me clear this so it will be pi squared uh is that okay and then times 12 and then and then divided by 49 Divided by 49. So G equals um, 2.4 roughly. G equals uh, 2.4. So, so gravity on this planet, this mysterious planet, is um, G equals 2.4. So it, the, it, if you look at G on, on Earth, it's 9.8. So it's a lot weaker than Earth. Um, if you look at the moon, g of of the moon is 1.622, so it's stronger than the uh, the moon, but less than the Earth, and it's miles uh, weaker than uh, than than Jupiter, which is 20 23 point blah 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 blah. Okay, so so what you do, you you know the t here, you know l here, so so just rearrange it to um, to get g on its own. So um, so 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 when you have this, hang on, t equals 2 pi root L over G. So when you have this, visualize it as this. Okay? And then, and then divide both sides by 2, um, 2 pi. So it will be this. T over 2 pi equals uh, root uh, L over G. Okay? Now you square both sides. So, so, so square both sides. Um, so, so find a blank space somewhere. So this will be T squared. Uh, t over, hang on, t over 2 pi times t over 2 pi. So that becomes top times top, which is t squared, and then bottom times bottom, which is 4 pi squared. So, so when you, when you are here, inside your mind, square both sides. So you will have this, t squared over, uh, over 4 
pi squared, and then on this side it will be g l over g. Okay. Um, earlier I told you. I told you how when you are here, you multiply both sides by g, so you you move the g over here, okay? Um, but uh, another way of doing it is to take the reciprocal of both sides. Um, if you don't understand this, if you don't understand reciprocal, then then you you have to watch one of the earlier videos. So this would be this, okay? And this would be g over l. Um, now g is on the top. We we can kill off what's um, what's on the bottom. So times both sides by by L now, it would be this, uh, 4 pi squared L over T squared equals G. Okay, now you've got yourself G. Um, so this is a formula for, gra for, for, uh, for gravity. So you, you normally know L and you, you can time how long it takes, um, for, for, for one swing. Okay, um, yeah, okay.